how to connect CJ Dropshipping to Facebook Marketplace. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how you will be able to connect CJ Dropshipping to your Facebook Marketplace. And as you can see right now on our screen, we have our Facebook and CJ Dropshipping over here. Now, unfortunately, there is no direct, easy way to connect Facebook Marketplace or Facebook itself with CJ Dropshipping. There is no simple click and connection between these two platforms, unlike in Shopify where you can easily connect different types of platforms together and form a connection. Now, there is still a way for us to be able to connect Facebook Marketplace and CJ Dropshipping wherein you will be able to sell products from CD dropshipping inside of Facebook marketplace but it's going to be a manual labor and that is what we will be showing you guys in today's video. Now why is it a manual labor? Well I, I explained earlier there is no direct connection between them so there is no shortcut between or aside from this way. So what we're going to do first is of course open your Facebook and go over here on your Facebook marketplace. Now in this section Simply look over here on the left side and click on create new listing. Now as you can see, over here we can simply select the type of listing or the type of product that we would like to sell. Now before we proceed on this part, although it will typically only go for item for sale instead of vehicle and home for rent, but you never know. But uh, before you choose the listing type, uh, think about what you're going to sell first. If you're guaranteed that the item that you're going to sell is just a simple item, you can simply select simple or the item that you have uh, this listing, the type of listing for an item. So over here. So now, after this, before we proceed on anything over here, let's go to CJ Dropshipping and look for a product that we would like to sell. Now you could choose any type of product. The product that you want depends on you. I'm not going to suggest a good product to sell because I myself don't know uh, the current trends in CG dropshipping but let's go and select a random product for now. For example, I would like to sell this product over here. Let's open it so that we could see more information about it. As you can see, it's some sort of a light marble with a design inside. So this is the product I would like to buy and sell in the Facebook Marketplace. Now, it currently costs $4.28, but it might cost more with the shipping fee, but of course, this is currently the product price. And so what you're going to do is you could go to an Excel, and you could easily create a design, or rather a simple sheet that would allow us to put different types of information in. So for example, you could get the title of this specific um, product and you could easily put it on a sheet so that you could easily remember later on and create a decent uh, listing, an organized listing so that you won't be confused. But anyway, uh, for example, I would just want or I just want to sell this type of product in my Facebook marketplace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy our title and paste it over here on our product. But as you can see, it's very long. So what we're going to do is you're going to summarize it. Only focus on the important part. So for example, crystal ball LED. So let's we'll copy that LED design. There we go. Now for the pricing, currently this costs $4.28 for P. Uh, this will cost $4.28 dollars it will cost me 240 peso in my currency so i would like to earn a few bucks so i would like to sell it for i guess 350 or if we convert 350 it will cost six dollars so i will gain at least two dollars in revenue or you could add more if you want but for now let's go with 350 and then i could choose the type of category this product falls into now it can be tools, it can be appliances, but this is more on an accessory or a design. So we can simply look for arts and crafts. So we could have that for now. The condition, of course, new. And over here, brand. We don't really know the brand of it, so we don't really need to enter a brand. And for the description, now simply go over here 
and scroll down and you will be able to see a description over here so you can easily uh, copy and paste this inside the description just like that and it will appear over here on the right side as you can see there will be important information for your customers to know which is the necessary for gaining or selling a lot of these products now after that you have your product tags if you have location the meetup preferences so we could have dot pickup or public meetup and you can also hide it from your other friends so what else do we need over here over here you need to add your photos now if you go to cd drop shipping and if you try to like download a photo over here you won't be able to really save it as a png or something for you to be able to save as you can see or although you can do it but there's a better way and more efficient way i suggest that you go to an extension called cd drop shipping over here and this will be an extension that would allow you to download any type of photo from cd drop shipping as you can see here so uh what you're going to do is you're going to download the photo that you want there we go you will see an extension like this one on your cd drop shipping but let's download one of the photos over here and if this finished downloading there we go you will be able to get all the clips and even photos over here so let's extract it there we go and now let's simply go to our facebook over here and drag and drop our photos and then you can drag the other photos as well but as you can see after that simply click on next and then simply choose the marketplace you would like to list it and click on publish and you will be able to publish that product in facebook marketplace now, as you can see we were able to add a product in facebook marketplace from cg dropshipping now how do we handle the orders so assume depending on the type of model you want to do this with if you want drop shipping or if you want to just sell something uh i would suggest that you already buy an amount of product of this product maybe like 10 pieces so that you have a stock on hand and then you could easily just give it to them because in facebook marketplace it's more selling on face to face or like giving the product face to face unlike other e-commerce where you could just deliver the product to them so uh, in Facebook Marketplace, the, the, the preferred uh, order payments or the preferred ordering is meeting up face-to-face. -face. So I would suggest that you order already a few of the products from CD Dropshipping and do not, um, do not depend on the ability of CD Dropshipping to deliver because they are also very slow at delivering different types of products. So that's basically it guys, although it's very manual, it will absolutely work and as you can see, I already added mine over here. So that's basically it guys, if you, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.